Alright guys, welcome back, and let's see if I can pull this off. Well, let's try and do last time. Yeah, ouch. <laughs> okay, well, hey, it still it still works. And we still finished the level. <laughs> God. I was so crazy from last time. I can't believe, I can't believe of all things. And not only did I fail the jump, but I died to make things to make matters worse. How embarrassing. But anyway, snake route. Let's do it. Clock in the clock tower area, by the way. I didn't even mention that in the last video. That was a little bit rushed. That was trying to make up for the fact that I had to kind of had to make up for the nitrous battle uh, happening late. So if I wouldn't have died in the uh, uh, at that copter level, I would have. I think time-wise, I probably would have been all right. But whatever. At least we made. At least we made. It. That's the. That's the main point. Anything up here? No. no. And if and as I'm sure you noticed already, there's a, this is another one of those uh, collect four keys to open the door sort of level. Nothing too surprising. With little floaty frog eyeball things. Nothing we haven't seen before. Actually, I think those might have already been in a level. From days past. And obviously we can't reach that one yet, because the platform's now moving. So there's got to be a switch somewhere. Ooh, like, ouch, like right there. That was unnecessary. Yeah, for some reason these little gears like to... Well, they're not... Actually, they're not very little. These huge gears like to fall from the sky and cause pain and anguish to poor old Bomberman. Man. I mean, I know we're in a clock tower. That's that's supposed to be the thing, but I don't know. I guess if it's supposed to be a clock tower, it must be falling apart. If all these parts keep raining from the sky. Yeah, you're supposed to move to the side there. Oh, what? Oh, come on. Aw, oh, man. Hope I don't die this close to the level. Jesus Christ. These things are really whipping up on me. Ah. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, let's try that again. Try it again, Marmon. Be right back. You know the deal. Alright, welcome back, guys. And how fitting the, uh, I try, when, I, when I'm doing this off camera, of course, I take no damage at all. How wonder, how, uh, how predictable. But at least this is the end of the level. For the most part, I think there's... Yeah, we have one piece to go, but I'm pretty sure it's just beyond here. Oh, look at that. I'm so smart. Yeah, reach for it. Yeah. And I'm not gonna... Well, now I can jump, yeah. Alright. Whoa, with points to spare. Wow. Huh, wonder, wonder what I killed that gave me the extra points. Well, anyway. Details, details. Off to the to verse a uh, Baruda. Almost said Barracuda. The next boss fight. Ooh -ha! And it's a large bird with a laser on its on its uh, strapped to its front. That's pretty pretty realistic. I guess it's more realistic than a big flamboyant electric cat thingy. I I'm I think Endo was was supposed to be a cat. I'm. Looking back, I really don't know what he was. And we get the bomb copter for this one. Oh, and a nice little power up. Oh, it's just a bomb up, never mind. And as far as I know, I think this is the only case in the entire game when we're given a when we're given a a vehicle for a for a boss fight, like a specifically. I could be wrong, just because I I know there. As far as like regular boss fights, I'm pretty sure that's that, that's how it is. But there'll be uh there'll be a couple cases later on where where this might change. I don't know. But in any case, it's pretty simple. You just gotta stay above him. He'll shoot lasers and stuff at you, but... Hey, he, he's not too bad. You just gotta make sure to always stay above him. Because he has a nice tendency to... Even to, uh... To defy your... Uh... Your depth perception. And that, like, you, you'll think you'll have plenty of room to go. And all of a sudden, he'll be right up on you and you'll, and you'll take damage from him. Touching you or something. So, you always gotta make sure that you're a healthy distance away from him. But really, he's a pushover. Ouch! See, see my point exactly. I thought I had plenty of room to go, but he's finished, which is awesome. 
Oh, just shy of the five mark. Oh, well. That's still pretty good. Whee-hee! <laughs> Wait, why did I do this? Ah! Oh, okay. <laughs> that would have sucked. Oh, man. Nyeom. Yeah, let's see how we did for the uh, rate for the rating on this level. Wow, only two fours. I'm proud of myself. Ah, but I still got a bronze. <laughs> Whatever. Bonus stage. Yeah. This one's a lot easier, and that um, well, it's a lot harder to die from it. I guess you could just run off the edge if you wanted to, but yeah, this one's a little bit e a little bit more user friendly. Oh, and I forgot to mention that, yeah, you have you do have a limited time. Though we're not graded on it. it the time works similar to a boss fight, but obviously there's no rating for it. Uh, ooh, almost forgot that. Ah. Yoink. Ah, come on. Yeah. Just one little quadrant left. Yoink. And bam! Perfect! Alright, well, next comes... Uh, Kanatia Star, or... Kanatia Star? Well, uh, pr pronunciations... Um, set aside. The next one will be, uh, Hades Crater. And the lo- in the- What? The Lavana Volcano? Man, that's a mouthful. But anyway, this will be the- the, uh, starting point for the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. And we'll be seeing you in a couple days when the new world begins. Thank you all, and I'll be seeing you next time.